I was born into a little fishing village in Arisag, Nova Scotia. It is in the middle of nowhere, 30 kilometers to the nearest Tim Hortons, 30 kilometers to the nearest grocery store, 30 kilometers to the nearest anything. It is literally a bump on the road with a bit of a turn. It has a church and it has maybe 20 or 30 families that live there. And I grew up on the uh, edge of the Northumberland Strait where um, people are friendly and it takes a whole community to um, bring up a child, more or less. I would be out at my neighbor's houses uh, until all hours and one would give a call to my mother and say, oh, Sandy's over here, he has been fed supper, we'll drop him off later. So it was a great upbringing. At the age of 12, I decided I was going to be a lawyer. Why? Because it sounded good and because it's a high ideal. It's something that I could aim up towards and for the next 15 years I spent um, working very hard for that. Once I had that goal in my hands, I was uh, offered a permanent position at a great law firm. I suddenly had to decide, was this something I really wanted to spend my life doing? And when I thought long and hard about it, I thought, well, you know what? My life is about something else and that something has to include God's plan for my life. So I spent a few years discerning. I had a very difficult discernment because I was being torn this way and that way. I wanted also to be a writer, so I spent a few years writing. Ultimately, when I couldn't decide, I was given advice by a vocations director who said, well, you know what, if you can't decide, flip a coin and see what happens. And I thought, that's just crazy flip a coin, what if I get the wrong answer? In any case, there was enough working in the background of my mind that said, I have to give this a try. And so I approached the vocations director for my diocese and I presented myself for the service of the church. I was still very conflicted. I went through the process of qualifying for seminary. I then uh, was accepted and got on an airplane and went to Rome to begin my studies at the Venerable English College. And from the moment I entered until the present day, I have been filled with the uh, immense consolation that the Lord had me in the palm of his hand. It's a mysterious thing. It isn't the same as feeling good because I certainly hit uh, some challenges during that period of time. It was up, it was down, it was all around. While things swirled around me, I still had this incredible sense of peace in my heart that I was where the Lord wanted me to be.